we started uh, with UE4. We've uh, upgraded everything to UE 5.3. Okay. So we're making sure everything that we're working on is compatible with everything that uh, they're giving us, especially with all the new lighting systems and everything like that, and the reflective systems for your water and the different movements that they have. Uh -huh. uh, we want to make sure that when our game is completed, that you as the gamer gets not only something good, but you get the best in which Unreal has to offer for you guys. We don't want to give you like a Modern Warfare 1 video game when we can give you like a Modern Warfare 17 game. Right. So we want to make sure that we stay as up to date as possible with everything that Unreal, Un Un Unreal Engine, if I can speak English, uh, is offering us. And would it, would it be uh, over adults and up or? Uh, technically it can be for uh, all ages. All ages, okay. Because uh, it's PVE and PVP. Okay. So you're, uh, can, you can choose what you want to do. You know, if you're a kid and you don't want to get hackled a lot, we're working on developing a code to help keep the kids where it's a fun environment for them without getting bullied by some... Uh, Cyber bullying. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, you, you right. can insert the word there. Right, right. Uh, so, they can set, so they can actually enjoy the game. If they want to work on uh, farming and learning on building certain things, and they can focus on that. But if they want to go out and battle and join the events that's happening, or go out exploring and stuff like that, they can do that too. As for adults, same thing uh, applies to you. If you've got your main uh, protagonist here who's having fun and he wants to just kick back and relax, whether he's uh, attacking, being attacked, working on whatever projects he's working on, he has the ability to get out there and do something. Now, whether his girlfriend, on the other hand, feels the same way, uh, you know, that's up to her. So a little bit on how we're we're working on developing other characters, some of the different facial features and things that we can put into the video game or that we are currently working on so that the uh, player can actually sit there and develop their characters and things that they want actually more into the game instead of just having, this is what you're gonna have and that's it. How fun we can actually develop it. Uh, this here is our little train, one of our train stations and we have uh, one of our characters running through it. We were hoping to have the zombies set up in time, uh, but <laughs> I kind of got them deleted. Yeah, a seven month old son. <laughs> so it happens, it happens, you know. But just to give you an idea of what you're gonna see uh, as the player versus what you just see in uh, the gaming. It's not like, oh look, this is what you see on some of the gaming sites but you never get to actually see the playing in that area. We want to be able to show you this is what it's going to actually look like when you uh, sit and start playing the game. This is what you're going to do. This is how it's going to be uh, an idea. We'll make more changes, of course, later, but for uh, a starting point, you can actually see when you're interacting with stuff, you're actually going to be able to enjoy what you're doing. You're not being sold a mobile game where you see this really cool thing and you get to it and it's a, a top-down uh, turn by uh, turn by turn based game you actually get to experience what, we're what is the you. name of this game that's going to be uh, uh, currently uh, the current running title is the vax the vax yeah. so that's what we should look out for is yeah. the vax for right now the vax yes the vax. is there any small detail you said it is like a like a post apocalyptic type of game yes is there anything in detail you might can give us a little more so we can look out for like other than post-apocalyptic, I know, cause we know when we when we think of post-apocalyptic in gaming, we think of like zombies and Call of Duty. It's the first thing we're going to think about. So, is, is there anything that can like make you different from that game, so we don't think about you know that? Well, or? one of the things is uh, you start, like I said, you start you, you start your game off in present day before right. uh, the apocalypse happens. Right. Then you get to decide on what your character is going to be, but that. Do you want your character to be an engineer? Do you want your character to be a teacher? Do you want your character to be a librarian? Do you want your character to be military? Do you want him to be a doctor? Damn. Then when the apocalypse happens, when you emerge from uh, into the new world that you get to now develop and create with our servers, one of the things that we're doing, uh, we're gonna have nine different regions. And in, in those regions, there's only gonna be so many animals that spawn. If you wipe out all the animals, there's only cannibalism and, and uh, vegetarian left. 
But if you get the, if you capture the animals and you breed them, you're providing a source for future references for yourself and for the next of the gamers. If you sit there and uh, you decide that you want to be a raider, you now have your karma system to where you can uh, capture NPCs or you can capture real players. So it's not just about zombies, because there's going to be zombies. One of the things, uh, coding that we're working on now, is if you're in a, if you're in a zombie uh, fight, it's too much for you to handle and you're able to escape, those zombies that you didn't kill now begin wandering to become a horde. So somewhere down the line, you or the next set of players working on that particular server will have to face the horde. They'll sit there and they'll go through the whole entire area, whether it's on the streets, through the houses, through the bushes, through the trees, whatever, just wandering around. Till they, as they go further, they collect more. The sooner they get killed, the less of a threat they become to you and your little base that you're building or to any other person. So it's not just, okay, well, there's a zombie, I'm gonna run away. A lot of great zombie games are that way, and it's good. However, we want there to be noticeable consequences for whatever you, whatever actions you take. So, so where can we, uh, where can we look forward to, you know, looking for following you on Instagram, or, or, you know, where can we look forward to following you to kick, you know, stay in tune with the game, so when it does release? Everything like that, we are True Gamers, a C H E W. G A M E R S on Instagram, on uh, Twitch or X now, or Twitter, or all, that, all that kind of fun stuff. All of our social media is True Gamers or TrueGamers.com to sit there and stay uh, a little bit easier. <laughs> True Gamers. So you can sit there and follow along with that. You can ask about it, you can contact us about it. Uh, in order. What we are considering doing, because it does take money to, to develop the game, uh, in order to work on getting a larger team, we are considering doing a uh, GoFundMe uh, in order to raise a little extra money to get extra people on the team so we can get it out sooner into your guys' hands. Yeah.